After all, we are influencers. How else are we supposed to get that Instagram pic? Night night. Ah, welcome back to Iceland. We truly enjoyed the land of fire and ice last week at the active volcano and soaking in the blue lagoon. And today we're excited to take you to more iconic locations. It's just too easy to travel here. Only four hours ahead of New York, you'll hardly feel the jet lag. And you don't even need that much time because so many of the top things to do are right outside Reykjavik. Welcome to Iceland's Golden Circle. Iceland's first national park, which is a continental divide. We're between two tectonic plates. If you've done any research on travel to Iceland, then you probably know why we're here, but we're gonna get to that in a couple minutes. First, let's walk through the continental divide. If it looks like we're walking around here extra bundled up, we're just trying to stay as warm as possible because we're about to do a little dry suit diving today. The draw of diving here is a bucket list thing between two tectonic plates is pretty cool. Can you tell I'm scared? Um, but also because it's some of the clearest water in the world. The water's coming down from a melted, <laughs> melting glacier and it's filtered through lava rock, so the clarity is some of the best. Okay, this is the layer under the dry suit and on top of our warm stuff. <laughs> because the spring comes from the ground from here and all this is gonna end up in a lake. So basically like a really lazy river. Oh, a only 30 closer. feet here. So that must be pretty close. That's like 10 feet or something oh, in some wow. cases. Try to get yourself as neutral as you can and just enjoy the ride. It's the best way. How much warmer are you already? I'm just keeping all this stuff on like, so I'm not cold out here and don't go in cold. So let's talk about how the dry suit works. A wet suit keeps water close to your body. That's why you're warm. A dry suit, we're obviously not in bathing suits. We're insulated with air. Your body doesn't get as cold underwater. That really impacts your buoyancy because you're surrounded by air. You're a big balloon sinking. So we're gonna have a ton of weight and have to hike all the way out to the dive site. Let's go. You take it from here. I look like special forces, like I'm ready to invade the rock. But you're not. <laughs> I'd rather stay dry than breathe, so. That's what's cool. It makes sense. <laughs> this is so weird. You were not expecting that to happen today. <laughs> no, I wasn't. S small neck, tall body, Little small neck. neck. It's weird. I'm not sure it's, where it It's a fine from. compliment for ladies, not for the guys. <laughs> <don't have> <laughs> Right? Yep. Okay. Okay. It's time to put on the gear and go, which means this needs to go in the car. I can't really feel the 
temperature so much yet. It feels like a little bit cold, but it's not shocking. I guess as I stand here, I can feel it. He is doing a weight check. Just a quick little check your buoyancy. He's sinking well. Good. Good. It is so clear. Oh, yeah. Definitely no turning back now. <laughs> Take your time, hold yeah, on the railing. She's she, oh, you grab the camera back there. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you make yourself half feet away. Put it somewhere in here. Ooh. It's kind of warm there. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It was so clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, notes if you're coming here. What do we, what should we share? If you just want to go snorkel and you don't have your like diving certification, not a big deal, you're gonna get 90% of this experience. Because a lot of the dive is at a shallow depth, so the divers and the snorkelers have the same experience. So I wouldn't say it's worth the money and the time for the dry suit course if you're just doing it for this. <laughs> Our dive master was fantastic. Okay, we have they to put aunts here who just was so funny, fun, yeah. and knowledgeable. It was like all of the things that you want in a dive instructor and you can just, I, hopefully he doesn't mind if we're sharing his Instagram here because he's got all these really cool He'll Iceland <laughs> dive sites that he was just, he was just diving with horses and he was showing us pictures. So the horses weren't diving. <laughs> they were swimming. The horses were not in the scuba gear. What do you say about a third lagoon on your forte here? Take me to a hot spring. <laughs> Let's go. Take me to a hot spring. be your dream. You'd be like, there's nothing to see in here, but I'm warm. That's all I care about. <laughs> Let's head inside to see where 40% of Iceland's tomatoes are grown and to have some lunch.
How many times have you snipped fresh basil at the table before? Never. Do you feel like a farmer right now? You have to let the little ones grow, right? So you want to just get the ready ones? The little ones are the spicy ones, I think. Oh, I should have actually gotten the bigger ones. I got medium. Maybe I did it wrong. haven't noticed we're in a region where it might be particularly difficult to grow produce and so here in this greenhouse they're growing everything here and making everything in-house the signature tomato soup oh man wow is, is that what tomato soup is supposed to taste like Yeah, it tastes like the mushed up vegetable with spices. Not that Campbell's isn't very good, but this does make that taste very processed. It's hitting the spot on this cold rainy day. Is it better with a basil plant next to you? Oh, let me, I think I want to mix in some of the sour cream and do like a little ooh to taste. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm here for creamy. before at uh, Yellowstone and apparently we're gonna walk from here over to this geyser here. It's from a YouTube clip. Come on, let's go to the geyser. than Old Faithful. Old Faithful, we weren't sure if it was actually like it's going. It's like gurgle, gurgle. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that was bigger than I expected. I know that would probably burn the skin off my bones, but I still want to go jump in it a little bit, <laughs> just to warm up. Give yourself about 20 minutes to an hour, depending on if you just want to see geyser and or if you want to go to the very top of the hill there you can see the entire ge geothermal area you'll need more time for that but 20 minutes it's a short hike out to geyser never had to work less to be in an awesome site. Fun fact, this is Europe's largest waterfall by volume. Another fun fact, if it rains all day in Iceland, you can get this whole place to yourself. Look at this parking lot. Look at that. That's us. Look at this. This is us. Look. 
nobody else. I mean, Tim, it can't be that it's raining. It rains every single day. Maybe it's nine o'clock p.m. and Iceland just opened a couple days ago for travelers. But either way, it's awesome. But After a day spent taking in the wonders of Iceland, what could be better than booking yourself a cozy bed in an inn? I'll tell you what, booking a stay with a transparent ceiling in the land of the midnight sun. After all, we are influencers. How else are we supposed to get that Instagram pic? Night night? Instagram aside, this place is really cool and they advertise it as the hotel of a million stars because of course in the winter you can see that along with the northern lights. Here in the summer you're going to need an eye mask and just a quick shout out because this is so appropriate to my FBA 101 student who is just launching a new product and it just happens to be an eye mask so this was just the perfect timing for them to launch a product that we absolutely need on this trip and this has cups for your eyes so you can open up, blink, doesn't smash your face, and this is way better than the eye mask that they gave us. Just somewhere around here. Ah, we'll sleep great. Do you know about Icelandic horses? This is a sense of pride for the country. These horses are beautiful. They're multicolored. They're specifically you know, bred here in the country. This is a truly special thing to do here in Iceland. And we're pulling up here in another day of rain, but I think that makes it only that much more Icelandic. We're gonna play together. Yes, you eat first though. This is the only part of the horses I know. It's building fences, pulling rocks up pastures. Yep, sounds like, like you're playing house and farm, alright? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to know my horse back? He wants, he wants to scratch. Oh, wants thank you. I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So he's just like, I prefer the box. He does not want to stand with these. I don't know why, but I just go with it. I feel safe in the box. Yeah. Make it the boy. My mom's gonna laugh when she sees us. She's gonna be like, so you flew to Iceland to brush horses? You can do that back here in Wisconsin. This is Diva, which of course means Eva. And she is 23 years old. I can't tell if she's really enjoying this or feels nothing. <laughs> she's like, ah, yeah, another day. Yeah. Can we go walk? She's like, 
I might put, go put on a winter hat and then put this on. <laughs> Allison found full survival gear. That That's what they have in like those extreme fishing crabbing shows, survival yeah. suits like that they catch. wear. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Me and my new homie. One of the unique things about Icelandic horses is they have their own specific speed or gait. Like you've heard of trots, gallops, you can also walk on horses. Icelandic horses have tots. <laughs> you can just imagine like an arrogant prince riding in smoothly, Jamie Lannister looking down on the common folk and turning up his nose and riding away. some training, we are encouraged to try all of the different Icelandic gates, including all the way up to galloping. So funny. Yeah, you're so funny. You want the scratches. One of the reasons we booked with Icelandic Riding, we're not working with them by the way, not sponsored, but we wanted to do a small private tour because there's other farms that you can go to and ride with like 10 people. Today, just us. And our guide was totally down to let us ride to the limits of our abilities. If you've done any research in planning your trip to Iceland, then you know of Iceland's most popular waterfall. But did you know that Iceland's best kept secret as advertised on their tourism website is just a short ferry ride away, just here. weren't expecting something this nice inside. 